Hello everyone, welcome to Indie Voice. This is probably going to be the first game in probably a long line of history that I would probably say just don't buy it. This literally, this is not one of those games I'd recommend anybody to get because of how this game is worked and how the developers have actually developed this entire game. But let's go ahead into the review, shall we? So the game we're looking at today is called Aqua Rel. Now, this game has been particularly on Steam for, I guess, a while, but it has gotten a lot of negative reviews for the fact that, you know, well, only four reviews, but from how the comments show, it's not a game I'd recommend to most people. Now, I can tell you several things wrong before we get into this review, how, why I'm giving this not the best review or even a good review in general is because number one, before starting the game, you have to download some Google Drive files to even get it remotely playable. Number two is that telling you to buy this game for $60. Even though this game looks like it has a copy and paste of Mirror's Edge obstacles combined with a uh, game that barely runs and several other issues in this game I can probably tell you. But I digress, let's go on with the entire review here. Main story of Aquarelle is that outside the window of 2021, you are the developer and your job is to create a virtual space for next generation video games. Falling asleep in the workplace became a common place when the 18 hour workday was introduced. Aqua Well is a meditative author's project in which your goals are blurred and nothing awaits. However, you can delve into the wreckage of past projects, search and not find answers. This game, it's, mm, I, I, I don't like it. I, I don't particularly like the fact on how this is going. Even though you have all these comments saying, definitely advise you to play this beautifully designed surreal adventure game. When you first launch Aquarelle, your jaw drops. It sure did jaw drop because uh, I couldn't even move the camera with my mouse. I literally could not even tell where the heck I'm supposed to go. Part of it was just like, I'm confused what my objective is or at least what, how to do this. It didn't carefully explain on how to move from point A to point B. So there's a lot of things in this game. I will, I will say this, Aqua Well is very beautiful. I will give it that. It is visually surreally beautiful. Like I like it, but I can't give it any sort of high views here. I can't, I tried. This game should not be $60. This game should at least be $15.99 or lower because this is like early access level stuff here. And the fact that you're telling people to pay $60 for something that you have to go download a file from Google Drive to even make it remotely work, doesn't show much promise on how this game could even remotely be caused for $60. This is like early access, $15.99 type of money here. Again, so far in most people's comments, people have said that this game does not work properly. I can't move the camera with my mouse, as I said. And to fix it, the developer suggests you downloading the external files from a Google Drive link, like I said before. With the dubious files, the game is basically unplayable because you can barely see or even go wherever you have to go. And this was released a month ago and they doubled the price. Now, I know people are hard for money right now. People need like, you know, the games to fly off the shelf or, you know, at least I would say avoid buying this game to at least get this game fixed to the point where it can be automatically playable. Cause right now, this is not worth the $60. It's not even worth the time redeveloped. It needs to be fixed. It needs to have a lot of stuff done to it. So if you are really interested in Aquarell, I would not suggest it, but if you're giving it a whirl, okay, fine. But I wouldn't suggest it. There were no pros for this. I mean, the only pro I could probably give it is the fact it looks amazingly beautiful, but after that, it just goes way downhill and like crash landing in the cons of just all above a mess. I give this game a do not buy or try if you want rating. So thank you for liking, commenting, and definitely subscribing. Game over.